we're going to start with is that mini band glute bridge. We're going to place that band right below the knee. Uh, and if you know it feels comfortable for you, you can go above the knee. I prefer to go below the knee. Uh, we're going to grab our bags. We can either grab from the handles or from inside. We're going to push our low back into the ground from that position. Your heels should be feeling as if they're pulling into the floor. You're going to bridge down slow and controlled, press those feet into the floor, and bring your hips down. We're going to do four to six reps there. As soon as you're done, you're going to move into your adductor rock. With that adductor rock, stretch that leg out to the side. You're going to sit your hips back and rock forward. Take your time, slow and controlled through that motion. As soon as you're done there, because we have four reps on each side, we're going to move into our cat cows. As you're dropping your belly button down, we're going to take a big breath in. And from there, tuck your tailbone down and pull your belly button towards the ceiling as you breathe out. Inhale down. Exhale up. So we're going to get started with those uh, bridges. Then, All right, so uh, for the next piece, we're going to be now moving into the strength portion. So we're just going to be focusing in on squats and rows. And we're gonna begin with four to eight reps on your squats. Afterwards, we're gonna go into our three-point kettlebell row. What something that you can do is you can either take 30 seconds off to recover between each exercise, or you can do both exercises. And if you need the rest to recover, take those 30 seconds off to recover. Because it is eight minutes, and we're just gonna do as many rounds as we can, not in a fashion that's like fast paced but just knowing that we just have eight minutes for time to work with. So we're gonna pull that bag in that front loaded position. We're gonna widen out our feet. We're gonna be tall and tight. Reach those hips back, widen up those knees, press the feet into the floor to stand tall. Four to eight reps there. And if you really wanted to challenge yourself, you can put that bag onto the fist. Just make sure those shoulder blades are pulled back. And as you're going down, keeping that tall and tight position. As soon as you're done there, we're going to go into a three-point kettlebell row. So your feet are squared. You're going to bend those knees. You're going to reach your hips back. Chest is forward, pulling that elbow slightly behind the ribs as you're rowing. Um, and so if you want to challenge yourself from that position, what you can do is you can go into a step back position. So you can reach your leg back. You're going to keep that tall and tight position again. Four to eight reps, squeezing underneath the ribs and the armpit to get that lap to fire. So let's go ahead and we'll get started with squats. Four to eight reps, and then four to eight reps with those kettlebell rows. We can go ahead and get started. What we're going to be doing is the first exercise is going to be deadlifts. So with those deadlifts, you want to place that bag onto the top of your feet. Bend your knees, reach those hips back, emphasizing that bend in that hip from that position. You want to screw a light bulb in with your arm and shoulder. That way those elbows are facing forward. Press into the floor and stand tall. Control your hips on your way down. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can go into the good morning. So make sure that you're keeping that breath, that bag pressed against you with those shoulder blades squeezing back as you're going down. So anywhere from six to eight reps on either the deadlift or the good morning, we're going to rest because the next minute we're going to move into our plank with the leg raise. Hands are going to be underneath those shoulders, pushing the toes and palms into the floor. Slowly pull your thigh up, bring it back down. So it's not this crazy high kick. It's just a slow motion up. That way you're feeling your big toe press into the floor. Let's say we get tired. You can hang out into your plank position because we're going to be doing 20 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest. So let's go ahead and we can probably keep the same weights we were using for the squats. But if we need to adjust on those, please let me know because I can grab a different weight. 